I'm not intoxicated. I'm not. I didn't drive here intoxicated. I'm. I'm. Like I'm not. Okay. So, where'd you come from? And I missed that part. Work in Denver. What, what's the What's the place called? The state capitol building of the state of Colorado. Col Colorado state capitol. I'm the state representative for Brookfield. Okay. okay. We take you to Broomfield, Colorado, where State Representative Matt Gray was attempting to pick up his kids from an after-school program. Staff members smelled alcohol on him and noticed erratic behavior from Representative Gray. The staff called police and prevented Gray from leaving with his kids. Hi, Daniel. Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you. How can I help you? So, um, the father and our director, Brian, they're sitting, like, just around that cement ledge. You're just, you see those, like, red railings? Yes. They're sitting right over there. Uh, uh, you mean where the big, tall black thing is, or just right around the corner of the building? Right around the corner of the okay. building. Okay, like, okay. Attached to the building. Awesome. All right, what's the parent's name? Um, his name's Matt Gray. Matt, and why do you suspect, I'm just curious why um, we suspect so he's intoxicated. my staff noticed he was stumbling and stuff, and so I pulled him aside, and I smelled it on his breath, and then I pulled okay. him aside more, and then... Okay, so a crying. couple of people he, have seen him. Yeah, it was okay. very obvious. He's and he, he, he was crying. He was crying. He was, he was sad. He was trying to get mad every now and then. Okay. He was never threatening or anything crazy like sure. that. Sure. But he was just, he's obviously emotional. Okay. This is the reporting party. Hi. Um, Nice to meet you. A couple of different staff members have different observations, her included, smelling it on him, watching him stumble around. He's now crying over here with a director, right, director? Yeah, our director. Literally right around the corner there. Um, did he drive? Um, yes, I'm pretty sure he drove here. I don't know what his car looks like, though. So. Yeah, okay. I'll go talk to him. Am I just getting her information? Sure, don't mind at all. Yeah. We'll be in contact on the southeast corner with the male subject. How are you doing, Bob? I'm doing all right. How are you doing? Good. Why are you here? We got called here. All right. Well, I actually don't know the individual's name, but someone concerned about you. So that's why we're out here. Hey, I'm Hi. You? What's your name, boss? I'm Brian. Brian, I'm Josh. Nice to meet you. He says, How can tough time? Yeah. We all have tough times. Just let me talk. He says, Is it going to take a breath? Where is his vehicle? I'm gonna explain everything that's going on. Is this normal for people to park back here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is hard. I'm yeah. no, I'm care about the kids. Yeah, I'm, of course. I'm dry, of course. Yeah, like, he's like just like this. Sorry. Um, it's all right. Where is his child at? Uh, the kids are inside. His kid? He has two kids or one kid? I have two. Okay. You guys can talk to him. I'll go What's talk up, to the kids. How are you doing? Yes. Matt? Yes. Okay. I'm Officer Avon. We're going for the police department. As okay. you can see. Tell I'm, me what's up, man. What's going I am, on? Nothing is going on. Okay. I am not going to drive from this facility. I have somebody else to drive me away from this facility. I am not drunk. You're not drunk? I, no. Okay. Have you had anything to drink at all? No. Not at all? No. Okay, cool. Any uh, any I type have, of substance? I have anxiety. Mm -hmm. I, I have taken me medication related to my anxiety. Okay. As you might imagine. No, you give me the rundown. I have no idea. I right. So, mm -hmm. as you might imagine, you got your ID on you, real quick, if you don't mind. Just no, I haven't. I, I will give you my ID if there's ever anything close to probable cause or reasonable suspicion. I, I, I listen, Matt. My name is Matt, Matthew. Graham. Matt, real quick, real quick. Just I, 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 I understand that you're you feel I'm like you're in a bad spot. I'm a former prosecutor, and that's fine. I, I know what's going I, on. I get, no, let's just let's just talk real quick. All we just we just need your information. If you don't want to give me your ID, that's cool, man. That, can we get your name and date of birth real quick? My name is Matthew Gray. Is it with an E or an A in your last name? Is it G R E Y? Why are you asking me? Because so we self document everybody who we talk to, right? So it's just going to go to document who we've talked to. I so know, but you're okay. I mean, Matt, I used to prosecute. Th that's that's fine, Matt. Like, follow me, okay? We're not trying to make this more than it needs to be, okay? I'm 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 I'm, I'm fair. Like. I, uh, follow me for a second. Just, just focus here. <laughs> I'm fair, okay. Whatever happened, happened. Okay. Nothing can happened. we, can we just get your name and date of birth real fast? My name is Matthew Gray. My date of birth is 92580. 92580. I'm the state fucking representative for the state. So, okay. like, you can Google me if you want to. My yeah. name is Matt Gray. I'm the state representative for Burnfield. Okay, that's cool. All right. What, so, what you need to understand is okay. happening is. I suffer from anxiety and depression. Okay. Each step that this escalates, 
I, when it occurs, when I have anxiety and depression, I suffer from symptoms. Okay. What and kind of symptoms? As it es- exactly what you see right now. Okay. It escalates quickly. Mm-hmm. Those folks deny me access to my children. How many how many kids you got in there? I have two in there. Okay. What's their name? I I swear to God. Their names are Ellie and Theo. Uh, Ellie and Theo? Okay. How old are they? They're eight and six, and that's all I'm saying about all this. I'm not drunk. I I'm not drunk. Uh-huh. And I do suffer from anxiety and depression. I have called a friend. Okay. Who is gonna come? I'm gonna leave my car here. I'm not gonna drive here? anymore. That's my car. Did, did Take you drive it down. here? CSM 692. Yes, I drove it here. Okay. I parked it pretty well. It turns out. Okay. What's your uh, What's your address? Where'd you drive from? I I drove here from work, which oh. is the Colorado State Capitol. Okay. So you got off work today, and was like, oh shoot, I gotta go pick up the kids. LMP. Not oh shoot, like I was scheduled to pick up the kids. In fact, my daughter is not getting to go to choir practice today because I am doing this right now. Okay. All right. And this right here, you said, you mentioned something about escalating. I'm just trying to have a conversation with you now. You know somebody called us. I don't. Do you know why we're here? I know exactly why you're here. Okay. You explain to me why I'm here then. Because somebody called you on the suspicion of the fact that I was intoxicated and was going to drive my children while I was intoxicated. Okay. So... You already know why we're here. So yep. that shouldn't be any surprise why we're having this conversation, right? No, I did this for a living. Okay, so we're good then. Well, and I literally, like, I have a friend who's here who's going to drive me and my children away. Okay. I'm not intoxicated. I'm not, I didn't drive here intoxicated. I'm, I'm like, I'm not. Okay, <laughs> so where'd you come from? And I missed that part work in Denver. What's the what's the place called? The state capitol building of the state of Colorado. Colo- Colorado state capitol? I'm the state representative for Brookfield. Okay. And what did you work today? What was the hours? From like 8 a.m. until whenever I found it. Okay. 8 a.m. to what? You know what time school lets out today? It's not school. This is base. It's, it's oh, this is the after school, after school program. Pro- oh, gotcha. The after okay. school program for for Adams County, and I'm telling you, it's gonna you know, like I have agreed to I have agreed to not drive my car away, even though I'm not drunk and I'm not gonna. So, what's the reason for that? What is, what what made you come to that decision where you're like, you know what, I'm just gonna call a friend. What got you? What what made you do that? To get my kids back. Okay. They didn't want to release my children to me. They called the. They called you. Okay. Like, I'm sorry. I know what I'm doing. Like it's not. My friend is here. She's like she's around the corner. She's gonna take me and the kids. You can watch it. Okay. So why would they think you're drunk? I. That's a question for them. Go ask them. Go talk to them. Okay. I suffer from anxiety and depression. Okay, and you said you took some medications at some point today? I, I don't take know. medication every day. Okay, what's that? What's the name of those? No. You can't give me give me a favor. No. No, 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 no. Come on, Matt. Matt, come on, Matt. Like, please. Look, I please, know what. I know you, you know. Did you, did you see the alcohol in the I, car? I, 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 I know you know. Uh, and, I okay. you in your car. I understand did, you. Is there alcohol in the car? No. Did so, you see any? That's not, that's not why we're here, Matt. Okay, we're not saying you got, you were drinking on the way here. Okay? I just, I can't, like, you're taking me to the ground, and it's fine. Like, I didn't do anything. I don't mean that literally. But you said it. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's happening here? You have to understand that I, you have to understand that I know this process. Like, I prosecuted, like, 500 DUIs. And a bunch of DV cases. Okay. You guys are in a triple formation right here, and I've offered to we're, not we're, get we're back. Not, uh, I, where, where, where would you like us to stand, Matt? Like, what, what, do you want us to stand in I line? Didn't, 
break any you. laws. I could, didn't commit any moving violations, and I just want to take my Exactly. So, Matt, that's why we're having a conversation, okay? Don't talk to me. How do you want me to talk to you? You want me to talk, talk to you loud and yell? What do you no, want? No, I want you to give practically what do you need to let me get from where I am now to where I don't drive away and I put my children who are in that building right now right. and people are denying me access to my children including you but again you're just doing your job again okay. I'm a supporter of law enforcement okay. like, do you want to go away? I, I could yeah that would be the easiest part of my life is if I could but I've also already agreed to not do that my friend is because there are police officers and people in that building who are saying that they won't let me and it's because of the evidence of the anxiety attack that I'm having which is only getting worse by the fact that I've got three police officers standing here and I know why you're standing in the formation that you're standing in because I, 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 I have my hand in my pocket there. I, like, we're just trying to get some information okay so we're going to do this we're going to do I'm not. You're doing your job. So, Matt, you're not hearing me when I say I understand what so your job is. We are hearing you. What we're trying to confirm is that you already had a plan before we got here, and you had already called a friend to come grab you. That's what we're trying to get information on. So why would you? Call, Good to see you. Why would you call a friend to come take your kids before we even interact? Because the people in the building saw what I was going through. I can't, not right now, but thank you. Um, and they said they had hesitancy about releasing my children to me. That was their Yes, sir. What? They're just going to talk. Who's going to talk? They were talking to each other. So you said your friend's around the corner? Does she live close? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, we're new to the situation. I don't even know, I know. what's going on. You know what I'm, I'm just trying to figure out. That... Do you feel like, you know, you're saying you're having an anxiety attack. Do you feel like you want medical attention? No. They're just going to check you out, make it's sure you're okay? I know. I'm just asking, okay? Because personally, not, I've had anxiety not, attacks, I but... Have I called anybody, anybody any names or anything? Like, have I, have I said anything mean about anybody? Like, Not from what I've experienced, but, you know, you mentioned a couple times that you do struggle with anxiety. So, I personally, I just want to make sure that you're okay. I have a lot of family members who deal, deal with anxiety to where it's crippling. You know what I, I mean? Appreciate the, I appreciate that you're being nice. Yeah, so... I'm, I can bring... I, My friend says she's here. She's an elected official. I'm an elected official. I don't think she wanted to uh, interact with law enforcement. Okay. She doesn't know law enforcement the way that I do. Yeah. It's understandable. Like, it's fine. It's fine. I just, I'm sorry. I have to do some exercises while I pass. You're fine. Do what you need to do to calm yourself down. Yeah. I won't stop you. Indian my children. I didn't do anything. I know exactly what the moving violations are. I did not commit any moving violations. I don't know why this is happening. I'm trying to... I'm trying to control... I'm trying to control what's going on right now. I hear you. It takes effort. Are you currently on medication for your anxiety to help? Yes. Do you have emergency medication to help you calm down? I don't need emergency medication. Okay. I need my children. Okay. I'm like, I'm not... It's getting worse as... The police are, are like... Hi, buddy. Be careful. I mean, you don't know how many cases I've prosecuted with your mom. We never did a case anymore. I was there from 2000. Well, to 2013, in the DA's office. Your kids know you're around so far. Thank you. Thank you. 
don't have to explain anything to me. I know, I'm like, I, I prosecuted a ton of crimes. And I'm, like, I don't, they're staring at my car and pointing at my car, and I know what they're talking about. Like, I know, like, I'm sorry. I'm gonna leave it here. I didn't do anything to thank them in any crime. Okay. But there are three of you here right now. It's fine. So, let me explain that to you. There's the two of us. There's always going to be two of us. I, just the initial I, one. And then he's a supervisor, so he's just coming to... I know. I know that. I get that, but I'm trying to make you feel comfortable because you're I, explaining how this is kind of yes, scary I, for you to have three of us it's here. It's not scary. I know exactly what's happening. I'm not scared. I'm working on logistics. Yeah, I'm just trying to explain I'm it I'm a logistics you. person. Okay. I have somebody here who doesn't probably want to interact with... Law enforcement. She's going to hear her in a second. Is this break. her? She has a small white SUV that might be accurate. A small white SUV? Okay. Like, let's take a look for a second and realize how many small white SUVs there are in this neighbor. Well, well, I'm like, I, what I need to figure out is what you need to see. Do you need to see me and my kids get into a car that I'm not driving? So that's not going to be my decision. It'll be Officer Abram. And it sounds well, like he's just I, I talking. I would like it to just be sooner rather than later when I hear you that. tell me what you need to see. Because I haven't committed any crimes. Okay. I'm... The more that I am, like... Could be detained even though I haven't committed any crimes. Is only going to make my condition worse. Okay. Going to make your condition worse. So, I just was trying to... Yes. His, he says anxiety. I suffer from anxiety and depression. So to the extent to which... Like, I also used to work in law enforcement. I'm a former deputy di district attorney. I never actually wore a badge. Well, we had a badge, but I, never, I never wore it. But I prosecuted crime. I was in Broomfield for six months and then Adams for about 18 months. Um, I understand exactly what's going on. But what you need to understand is my condition isn't going to, like, you're not going to see me drinking anything. My condition is going to get worse before it gets better because I am I have officers around me. So, like, what I'm trying to get to is a solution point. Do you, you want to know what officers are here to, doing right now? So you know why we got here. We know what we're doing right now. I assume that somebody from inside that building called you. They did. I told you that when I walked around the corner. I know. I, okay. Like, I understand you're, you, you're used to people... Um, being confrontational with you. You're not being confrontational. I'm not. Uh, no, you're not being confrontational. But like, I, like, what I'm trying to figure out is what is it going to take? My, so children, got... my children are in there. Yeah. My friend is over there. Yeah. Like, I can show you and the staff in there. Like, me walking my children to a vehicle that I'm not driving, even though I'm not drunk, and taking my children away in a way that is perfectly safe. I don't like having to expose her to you, but if, I think she'll do it for me because she's my friend and she loves me. Okay. So I think she will. But like, is that enough? So we're... What's we're, enough? We're conducting an investigation right now, Matt. Matt, right? Or Matthew? My, either one. My, name is, my full name is... Mr. Gray, right? Gray. Sure. So what we're doing right now is we're conducting an investigation um, because we, someone called at a concern that you made, Matt, Mr. Gray. I understand. I'm no, listening. no, no. Okay. All right. I know you're you had another not, vehicle. You had call. another vehicle come up. It's, it's not a new. It's not a new. That's just Officer Abram. He's, He's been here. I understand. I'm not. So we just got called here because someone was concerned that you may or may not be under the influence of something, and may or may not be potentially. Mr. Gray, putting some children at risk. That's all. That's their concern. I understand. So I, we, I, understand. I would hope that you would understand that our concern is for you and the children. So when we come here, we want to make sure that isn't happening. I understand. Right? So that, that's what is happening right now. So we I want to make sure we're doing our due diligence and asking the right questions to the right people, including you, about where we're at. Okay? I understand. To make sure that that wasn't going to happen if we didn't get I understand. Involved. Okay. All right. I'm not, I, 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 am not, I have not been mad. I have not been nope. confrontational. I've just tried to explain... What's going on? Quick question. Matt, right? Matt? Yes. Okay. Uh, do you mind doing some voluntary roadside maneuvers for me, man? No.
Okay, don't want to do no, that. No, I'm okay. not. So here's my here's my next thing. I, I I respect that. I get it, man. So my question is, being that you said that you're having an anxiety panic attack ish, right? Yeah. You take medication at some point, right? Yeah. That has nothing to do with alcohol, correct? Correct. Okay. So with that being said, from the information that we have that before we got here, right, sure. is that hey, he's been drinking. He smells of alcohol. You're sure. saying no, which is fine, okay? It is what it is. Do you mind blowing in this PBT so we can make sure the kids are safe? I'm not doing that. Don't want I'm to do not that. driving. Okay. Okay. Matt, my, that, deal, that, Matt. my deal is that I'm not driving. Okay, Matt, you're going to let me talk? So here's my you thing. You asked me a question, I answered Okay, it. all right. Here's, real quick, Matt. You drove here, right? Did you drive here? Yeah. Okay. You drove here from... Denver, Colorado. Denver, Colorado, because you had to work today, right? Yeah. So you had to get the kids from base, and one of them had to go to choir practice, correct? Correct. Okay, so you drove and you parked, and you said you parked it fairly nicely, okay? But you walk in that building from that yeah. car, and someone said you smelled like alcohol. Then what happened? We get called. Is this all making any sense? I assure you it's making sense, okay. sir. Okay, cool. So, and that's why I'm just, you're telling me that you haven't been drinking. Correct. And you ha you're on medication, which is, Correct. listen, I'm not trying to say that's bad, wrong or right, whatever. I'm just saying, if you haven't been drinking, would you mind just saying, hey, no, I'll blow on that PBT. It'll you show know, I'm not drinking. You know what I used to do for a living? What did you do? I was a prosecutor. Okay. In okay. I'm not... The reason I'm not doing this anymore is that I've offered a way out of this for everyone. And it's insulting and hurtful to me. Right. That I'm being treated this way. Okay. All right. So. I understand, like, you're trying to create an evidentiary record where I admit to you that I drove here. And then you try to put a PBT on me. And then, like, if my PBT is is hot, then there's a TUI case on it, and it's fighting, and it's not. I haven't been making Real quick, Matt, I'm sorry to interrupt real quick. You are interrupting. Uh, well, well, I got a question for you, okay? Just yeah. real quick. So, if you blow in the PBT, there's a possibility that it might be hot or not? I, I don't, it's not going to be because I'm not drunk, but okay. also it's the amount of, it's, I need to keep a shred of dignity in my life. Respect. So your wife is on the way to pick up the kids? No, my That's friend is on the way to pick up the kids. I'm, I'm just telling She's you. She's actually already here. She's uh, just nervous because my... Right. Because the police are here and she can see it. She's right. in the parking lot. Okay. Well, I'm going to tell you real quick. The school called mom of the kids and she's on her way. So... With that being said, I'm just giving you a heads up, all right? I'm pretty transparent here. Matt, can you also please keep your hands out of your pockets, please? Oh, for... Thank you. He just asked me. No, stop, I... stop, Matt. No, no, stop. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Relax, 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 yeah, relax. Stop. Give me a second, give me a second. Listen, Matt, okay. Pat me now. Matt, pat give me, me a second. No, pat me Matt. now. No, pat me now. Matt, please. Uh, there's a knife Matt. in there. Matt, Matt, please, listen to me, okay? Don't make this harder than it needs to be. All right, I'm going I'm to not... be, be, listen to me right now, okay? I'm going to be very, very, very upfront with you. You smell like alcohol, okay? I'm just going to be honest and upfront with you, okay? Smell. And you said it's you want your respect and you want it's your dignity. Unidentified Pay attention what does, to me. I, I, you under, have to understand, you have to understand that I am paying attention to you. Okay. Alcohol doesn't have a smell and you know that. Which alcoholic beverage do I smell like? Matthew, you need to let him speak, though. He's trying to explain it to you. It's, it's fine. Okay? There's also we're, we're in a good place right here, Matt. You know that? Okay? Yeah. We're I respect you. Right and here's the thing, Matt. Here, here, this is how much I respect you. Okay? Here's what I'm going to need you to do. You, you, because you, 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 you have the knife. Right? Matt. Matt. Listen. Okay? Put this stuff down. This is where this is turning right now. Okay? Like I said, I'll be up front with you. All right? We're trying to cooperate with you. We respect what you do. For the state that's great but you can't show up to pick up your kids smelling like alcohol 
whether you drank or you did not drink, you smell like it. And there's multiple people in there that say you smell like alcohol. So, with that being said, I was trying to give you a way out of this by blowing in a breathalyzer to say, hey, see, I told you I wasn't drinking, okay? It was just the anxiety pills. But you didn't want to do that, okay? So here's what's going to happen now. Do me a favor, turn around, and put your hands behind your back. Please. Okay. This is the last time I'm going to ask you, man. Okay? You can be in under arrest for driving under the influence of a known alcoholic beverage or substance to the point where you can't even pick up your kids. Okay? So. I I right. I got you. Do me a favor. Turn around and put your hands behind your back. You think you have probable cause? Okay. All right. Do me a favor. Turn around. You think you have probable cause? Put your phone, man. Just put your phone down. Let's go. There you go. There you go. Here's what I'm gonna do. I need you to take it off for you, actually. There you go. Just relax. All right, man. All right. I'm relaxed. Right. I've been relaxed. This please, time. please, just stay chill. Stay that way, then, please. Yep. Just stay that way for us. All right. Interlace your fingers. I'll make sure everything I'll make sure everything comes with you, Matt. Two ten, two fifty one will have a male party in custody. By driving in the state of Colorado, I'm sure you already know this. Driving on any roadway, you agree to a blood or birth test when you suspect I understand. Would you like a blood or birth test? Do One more time, because you want a blood or a breath test? I'm declining. Okay, cool. Are these tests too tight? You good? Okay. No okay. Yes, yeah, so I'll make sure all your property goes with you, man. All right, we're going to walk back to this car Wait, over here. Please get on me, sir. I'm going to grab a point. Now we do need to talk about that with my wife. Are they actually talking to my wife? Because you, you haven't given me my phone right now. No, you're, I'm going to take the phone up there and you can make your calls. At the detention center. I, it's fine. It, it's fine. I need to, now my wife does need to pick me up. Your wife is already on the way. This is your call. So she's on her way to the detention center. Yeah, she's on her way. Anything else on you that's going to poke me? No, I, I, me, I took everything grenades, out. You, like, no, fill me up when you need guns. to. Feel, feel, feel like, like I took everything. Right. And my my wallet is like I've got gum and I've got my car keys. That's my car keys. Is you your car keys right here? Okay. I had a pocket knife. I think we have that. In my hand and Matt, he's got that. Did you get the pen? Yeah. Yep. And Matt, our jail. So, I don't need. Throw us the fuck away. I don't care. You want to put in your car? <laughs> I'm not going to search your car. I'd like to unlock your car. No. Okay. You said I can throw this away? Throw it away. You should know I'm friends with the DA from the 17th. Okay. Right. I don't know how far we're getting on that. Like, I don't know where the charges are going to go. I mean, that's, listen, man. Just know Brian just Mason is my friend, like, professionally. Not like, no, I'm not saying, so, I am, so I am very explicitly saying don't, don't do anything that you would do differently. I'm very explicitly saying that. Oh, gotcha. All right. Like, I appreciate I am, that. That's why you're under arrest, sir. Like, I am very explicitly saying don't do anything differently than you normally do. I am a state elected mm -hmm. official, and I'm right. friends with the elected DA, okay. and I'm complying with everything that you right. ask. Do you feel like something has changed? Do you feel like something's different? What do you mean? Well, that's that's what I mean. I'm trying to figure out what the reason for the. I'm speech saying was. Oh, the reason I'm saying that out loud is because I'm being professional about that. Oh, okay, I got you. All right, do you expect that I am too, though? I am. Like I'm the one wearing handcuffs, man. Okay, but cool. Yeah. All right. Advise we have one in custody. Okay. Sorry. This is, uh, this is this is friend. Okay. What can I do to help? Uh, you want to just give me a rundown of why you're here? Um, I'm I'm his best friend. Oh, okay. 
Did, why and did he call? Because he was having a panic attack. Oh, was he? Okay. You remember what time that call came out? Mm-hmm. It was uh, 4.59. 4.59? Yeah. Okay. 4.59 p.m. And what's your name real quick? Faith Winter. F-A-I. T-H. Faith. Winter. W-I-N. T-E-R. Copy. What's your date of birth? Um, since you are best friend, I, I'll give you a heads up on what's happening here. Um, I, I feel like I owe you that respect for even coming to help him out. Um, basically, I'm sure you know that you got he got a call. He got caught in for smelling of alcohol and stumbling around the school to pick up the kids or whatever. Um, we can smell the alcohol on him. Um, he's denying that he drank. He said he was having a panic attack, which I respect. Um, but you know, with the kids and the odor of alcohol and the stumbling, that's why he's in custody right okay. now. Okay. Um, did uh, he mention anything prior to you after the conversation or anything? We were talking at four earlier about work. We worked together and he had had a bad day. Okay. Um, so, and What time did he leave work today? Three, three. At three o'clock? Mm -hmm. Okay. And where do you guys work? State Capitol. Please keep that confidential. I'm sorry, what? State Capitol. Please keep it confidential. Oh, okay, got gotcha. you. He said he had a bad day today? Yeah, well, I mean, he's he's been dealing with a pretty severe anxiety lately. Okay, all right. So, had a bad day, had to leave early because of? No. No. The work was just done. Oh, work day. was done, okay. Yeah, work was done. Got you. Yeah, work was just done. And how long you think he's like this anxiety thing has been going on? About a year. It's also, this just is like recent. Yeah. Like, okay. Uh, and when you said anxiety, is like panic attacks or something yes. like that? Would you say they're bad? Yes. Okay, having bad panic mm -hmm. attacks. Okay. And what does he usually do to cope with that? Um. He tries to exit the situation. He has physical things he does, like grounding himself, right? Mm -hmm. Like feeling the ground, meditation, things like that. Okay. Faith. Okay. I understand that he's your friend. Yeah. Okay. And I explained to him that, that was great that you called someone to get you out of this position that you're in. Okay. My main question here is with what's going on with the panic attacks and, and things like that, I understand you're helping as a friend, but is there any other avenues that you know about? And I'm not saying you're yeah. telling on him yeah. or anything. I'm just, I just want to make sure if he needs help, yeah. then we got to get him help. Yeah. But if you're like, no, that's what he does. He, he stumbles around, he, he smells like alcohol and that's how he deals with it. Or is it like, what helps with it is this that you know about. I don't know. That's why yeah. I'm asking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what I'm trying to get out of this. Yeah. So which one is it? I mean, I have been with him while he's had anxiety attacks. Okay. Right? And that he presents as very drunk when he is. Okay. Right? And so, you know, like, it's, I've seen him do it. I've been with him before and after. Okay. Um, and so, you know, like, I can't speak for certain, but I've okay. worked him through many anxiety attacks. Okay, I respect that. And there is there any reason why you think he would be smelling like alcohol yeah. as strong as it is? No. Okay, so, and the only reason I asked that is because you said he's been having a bad day and you said it had nothing to do with work. 
which is fine. I mean, it was a stressful day at work. But okay, that makes okay. I you asked if he left because it was a bad day. Right. The work was done. Okay. Like we were done for the day. But it was like, man, yeah. thank thank goodness it's done now. Yeah. Okay, thank you for paying that. So yeah. I was like, yeah, like, it wasn't so like. Did he get his hands slapped? Like, did he yeah. get in trouble? Like, you know, that's that's just how my brain works. Yeah. Sorry about that. No. All right. Uh, anything else that I might need to know? He's he's his been back? going through. He's been trying to find the right levels of medication for his anxiety. Okay. Which Do is we know what kind of medication he's taken? I don't know. Specifically. Do you know? Have you seen him take any medication though? Yes. Okay. And you don't know what that is? No. Okay. But his bag's probably in his car. Okay. Um, and his he carries the prescription with okay. him. Like right. it's a prescription bottle. I don't know what it is. It's Excuse me. Is him and uh, mom together? No. Okay. So I don't. I don't know. I'm gonna ask if he would rather you have the keys. I'm gonna see if they. Cause I'd rather not tow it. You know yeah. what I mean? Because of where it's parked. But it's basically up to the school. If they say it has to be moved, then I'll see if he wants you. Okay. To take it. You cool with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let me go talk with them. I don't. Which car are you in? This one right here. Uh, the white one. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'll be back with you in a sec. If I agree to be handcuffed, can I go help talk to the... That's my friend. No. Okay. Is there anything you want to tell her? Or you want me to tell her? I... 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 Just tell her... Can you tell her that I said don't be scared? Yeah. Like, I, I'm not, Like, I'm willing to be handcuffed. I've done nothing... I've done nothing to present a threat to anybody whatsoever. I hear you. Okay. But... But, like, he's... He's... <laughs> so, will you tell her I... That I'm handcuffed in the back of a police car and don't be scared. Can you say that, please? Yeah. Can she approach? No. Why? Like, what? What's the risk? Like, she's gonna. We're gonna make a break for it. No. So we're just gonna talk to her over there. But I know. But she means a lot to me, and she's my friend. And like, like she can't approach from a great distance with you in between. So, like, rules of engagement say that. Like. So, what do you need to discuss with her that we can't relay for you? She's somebody that I love very much and is going to be really scared about what's happening. Okay. And uh, there's a human aspect of that. I hear you. And also, like, I mean, y'all can believe it, you want to believe, like, She's thinking, like, she's my friend, and I want her to hear my voice. I want her to, hear to, her to hear my voice and to understand that whatever's happened here today, like, I've never been in handcuffs before. Mm -hmm. I've also never been pulled over for a violation, moving violation before. Okay. This is not a, this is not a real case, and that's fine. But, like... She can't stand 15 feet away and I can talk to her and look her in the eyes? Like, that's a problem? So... Like, what's the risk? There, I mean, to be quite frank with you, there, there isn't a risk, okay? But Officer Abram is currently speaking to her, okay? So sure. after he's done speaking to her, if he wants, if he says that she can come over here and talk to you, you know, that's his, his choice right now, Yeah, okay? like, she's not a witness. But I can't make that choice for him right now, okay. you know what I mean? And I am, I, I completely understand. If you can put the request into Officer Abrams... Okay. That she gets to stand at a decent level away that presents no threat. Okay. Like, like, okay, like, fine, like. Okay. But it's going to be ultimately his choice, okay? I. Typically, I'll be, I'll be quite frank with you, typically I don't allow that because of, sometimes people can get riled up over it when they see somebody that they care about in the back of a police car. 
I just mean them, I just got not you. I from my kid's school. Okay. Did I yell? Did I scream? Did no, I... you didn't. However, okay, I'm just telling you my procedure. Will Typically, you ask I don't him like that before happen. she leaves? Will yes. you ask him please before she leaves? Hey, Abram. He wants to speak with her. You got it. He said she decided that she's going to head out, so yeah, you but can call her tell later. Her that I, no, I can't call her because I'm handcuffed and I don't have my phone. So, once you get up to the detention center, they're going to give you your phone and let you get any phone numbers out that you need, okay? Once you're up there, they let you make phone calls and you can call her, okay? Okay. Are you hot back here? Do you want the windows down a little care. bit? No? Okay. Just for information, he keeps kicking the car to get my attention. Hello. What's oh, taking so long? Um, so he's just talking with your wife, it sounds like, right now. Did you want the windows down for some air? Yes? I haven't talked to my wife in days. Okay. Sorry, I'm telling the truth. What's going on with me? And you have to understand. I am using the strategies that I have if you're having an anxiety attack. Like, I'm... I'm waiting as long as I can wait. Okay. And it's fine. I know I, get to, I don't get to choose. Okay. Do you feel like you need medical attention? I feel like I need emotional attention. Okay. It's fine. I'll keep sitting here. Okay. I don't know why I, I, I have to sit here and have a handcuffs to talk to my ex-wife. She's not my wife. She's my ex-wife. Okay. She's not a witness to this case. Okay. Officer Abrams just speaking with her. I understand that. And he should she's be done in just a few. She's going to say some things about me. And I know what she's going to say about me. There's a reason she's my ex-wife. Okay. But she's not a witness to this case. Okay. I have not seen her in... Weeks, so she's not a witness to this case. Okay. And for my my hope and prayer for you is that you've never suffered from anxiety or depression. Mm -hmm. But I'm the one who's handcuffed in the back of a squad car. Nobody else in this. I hear you, but that's why I'm offering you. If you do want to get checked out by medical, that you have that opportunity. It's not that. Like I okay. know exactly what medical I need. I need to get out of handcuffs and not in the back of a squad car, which is not going to take that long once we start the logistic process. But, like, my ex-wife is going to be saying bad things about me as ex-wives are prone to do. Okay. Well, he told me that he's only going to be there for a few more minutes, and he'll be right back, okay? Okay. Can you, All right. Can you put the window down, please? Yeah, I can roll down the window for you for some air. Okay. Mm -hmm. He just keeps kicking. I'll be fine. Um, I'm gonna give her. If I'm gonna give you a witness statement to give to her. To uh, wife. Yeah. Um, and she probably take a few minutes to fill it out. If you just wanna grab that for me. I'll grab one. Okay. And then give it to her. Oh, you got. Okay, cool. Yeah. I got, yeah. Um, did you talk to school about the car, or you need me to do that? Oh. I can okay. do it. I forgot okay. about that. Don't worry. I'll do it. Okay, I'll take cool. care of it. I'll go there. Yeah. But yeah, no I think worries. we're good. Um, if you have any questions for me, you hit me up, or I'll see you later. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Actually, I'm happy to take it and book it for safekeeping if you prefer. Let's find out now if they want the car moved because I want to know if there's anything. In it? Yeah. Cool. Go ahead. Yeah. Not, yeah. What's up, man? Well, I'm doing great right now. Okay. You're calming down a little bit? I was never upset. No, they, they said you were trying to, you were kicking at the door trying to get the attention. Just to get attention, just to figure out what's going on. Not like I was out being outraged or anything. No, okay. My hands ha happen to be handcuffed behind my back, so I can't knock. I can't step out and talk about it. No, you're right. You're right. All right, so what's happening here, we're going to go up to the detention center. All right, you're going to be booked into jail uh, from driving under the suspicion of DUI or unknown substance. Um, I had to talk to... Your friend, Faith, she said, you know, mention the 
panic attacks that you've been going through. It's been a rough time. I talked to wife, um, whatever the situation is there. Uh, later on the day after they book you in, um, they'll figure out if you're buying. You can find out today or whatnot. I mean, I'm sure you know all about that. Okay. So I'm going to get on the way. Um, you need me to turn the AC up for you? You hot? Or you just want me to roll the windows down? I started to like, begin at uh, and write this in the report, like, I, I don't know if you've ever been through an anxiety attack, but, but being handcuffed and put in the back of a squ squad car and left alone, well, it doesn't help. Okay. And I want you to, people can say whatever they, whatever they said about me. Well, nobody's I, talking bad about you, man. I am, what I, that's what I'm saying. It's like, um. I didn't yell once. Okay. I didn't scream once. I didn't present any threat to anybody once. I didn't drive my car poorly once. I've accepted. I've accepted the way that people have interpreted my mental illness. It's never been this extreme. Okay. Extreme, obviously. Mm -hmm. But I never drove, I never drove poorly, I never drove unsafely, I never drove under the influence of alcohol. Okay. And right now, I'm using all of the tools that I have to stay calm. Okay. I know my wife has been here, my ex-wife, mm -hmm. actually divorced. My ex-wife is here, my best friend is sitting right there. Mm-hmm. She's not leaving until she sees me leave. Okay. I'm keeping it under control. I just, I'll deal with it. Like, I also know, I know what no drug DUIs look like. I know what, I'm not going to get into a crime. Okay. Because I didn't commit a crime. Okay. And I refuse to act like I did. I refuse right. to act like I did. And I'm not, I don't want you to. I, listen. You know the process. You know how it works. I know. Like, We're just going through it. We're, I understand. So do you understand that I have to do this? I don't think you do need to, like, here's the thing. And I want to I wanna go because I want it to be done. Okay. I don't think you do need to. Here, let's, here's, here's what I'm going to do for you real quick, Matt. We're going to get on the road, and okay. you can tell me all about it. Okay. that cool? Is that cool. better for you? Do you want me to roll the windows down, or you want me to turn the she, AC up? Either way. I don't all right. Care. Cool. So, since you said you've uh, never been here in this capacity, um, real quick, this sometimes work. There you go. Come on. You need help? It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Finger. Uh, do me a favor. Can you just read? I understand. Whatever one you prefer. Okay. This way. And then this one here. I don't have anything to do with my stuff. I assume you do. I just... Yeah. I understand. Oh, I understand. All right. And then, can I have you read this, too? That you agree and understand? I don't think I'm at the place where I require my help. Okay. Cool. Medical. All right. Yeah. I got that. I'm saying, like, I could... That could change. Okay. Like, I'm here because of anxiety issues. And okay. I'm not saying that this is not going to aggravate those. Okay. Gray was charged with driving while under the influence of alcohol. He is to be arraigned on June 8, 2022. It is unclear if he will resign from his $40,000 a year elected position.